you know, the principles of uh, behavior that we're really uh, proud of are these high precision, high scope ways of speaking that allow us to take complexity and break it down and to be able to modify it, and kind of move it forward. And that takes highly controlled environments where you can really look carefully. But the tradition that Avon Analysis is part of is that that's all tempered against the ultimate goal, which is to take an analysis of human complexity all the way out to the point at which we're able to do grand things that have never been done before, to actually move culture and society and humanity in directions we've never been into. It's a matter of being able to evolve on purpose. And you can really see this in the founders of behavior analysis, and I'd say in the work of B.F. Skinner. You know, the phrase that I like to use is from rats to Walden too. I mean, how many really tight science traditions have in its founder uh, somebody who's written a utopian novel? And the, the utopian novel wasn't, I have the answers, or this is the way it should be done. It was, this is the mountain that we set to climb for our tradition. And so uh, it, I'm kind of proud of the fact that the uh, contextual behavioral science wing, the ACT and RFT wing, uh, in alliance with many, I think, in the behavioral analytic uh, tradition is holding firm to that original vision that the purpose of this science is to change the world and to learn how to do that in a way that is responsible to our scientific traditions but yet is bold enough to go where we've never been able to go to before. And so the cooperative, sharing, just, fun, fair, creative world that we want to see, that's our job to produce it, but to do it in a way that builds on the tight science and the geek concepts and technical knowledge that we also value.